So, after looking around on YouTube and community forums about this game, Factorio, I've come to a certain conclusion. That everybody is playing this game wrong. So, hi, I'm Valefisk, and as you could tell by the title of this video, this is a 100% legitimate, non-sarcastic Factorio tutorial on how to make the most efficient factory system ever devised in the history of mankind. Now, in order to make sure I knew exactly what I was talking about, before I made this video, I went back to university and got a PhD in both mechanical and electrical engineering in just under six months. So, with that extensive experience in this field, I can tell you for a fact that what you're about to see is exactly how factories should be run. In fact, I imagine after this video releases, I'm going to be getting a lot of job offers as people see the way to really run their factories. But, right, that's enough talking about how we're going to do this. Let's just get started. All right, well, here we are in the game. All right, well, first things first, we need to get some basic factory stuff up and running. So we're just going to plop this thing here, and we're going to put the furnace, yeah, on top of the coal. That's fine. Honestly, I think the thing I don't understand about this game is why we're making a factory in the first place. I mean, honestly, we've been using manual labor for thousands of years, whether they were willing or unwilling, and it's worked fine until now. I don't see any reason we should be using machines. All right, and then let's come down here, and we're just gonna slap another one of these on top like that. I have it on good authority. This is how people mine in the real world, too. And there we go. Right, we have our initial factory setup complete. Uh, which consists of three mining drills and a bunch of furnaces uh, just haphazardly placed. But this is the proper placement, uh, as, I, as I've said. I, I do have two PhDs, so I know what I'm doing. I also love how instead of using chests, I am just using a stone furnace, because that's way more efficient. Why, why waste good materials on a chest, guys? All right, well, first things first, we're just going to get a shit ton of burner mining drills, because who needs electricity? Clean coal, guys. Come on, clean coal. And we're just going to start placing them like... Uh, that, like, yeah, like that, that looks good. There we go, I can really see the efficiency as it, as it starts to take shape here. There we go, efficiency. This is, this is how factories should be designed. All right, so let's wander over here and make some boilers and steam engines. The best part is I don't actually remember how efficient this is, so this is gonna be shitty no matter how hard I try. All right, so we're just gonna start uh, stringing some electricity poles uh, just down towards the, uh, towards the iron here. So we're gonna make this one entirely electric. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I put the pumps on the wrong side. There we go. Okay. Okay. I fixed it. Problem solved. Uh, so there we go. Okay. So if you guys look at this incredible factory, just if I just walk down here, here we go. Yeah, there we go. We are we're producing iron. Now, I'll admit, it may not be the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but I promise you it's the most efficient, right? And what we're going to do, right, is it, it is way more efficient, right? It's way smarter if you compartmentalize, right? So if you keep all of your machinery on top of the ore deposit that you're, uh, you're mining, it's a lot easier to keep track of. So we're going to put a shit ton of the furnaces on top of the iron. There we go. Peak efficiency right here. This is exactly what we want to see. Because you see, if you have a massively backed up conveyor belt, that means your factory is just so efficient that it can't keep up. So next thing we got to do, we got to build uh, some labs. We need to start uh, start researching, I think. All right. And so we're going to start uh, making a little lab factory over here. And we're going to Let's hook it up to the mainframe. Oh, no. Oh, oh, looks like I made a mistake down here. I can't seem to be able to place this inserter. Uh, oh, well, I guess I guess we'll just leave this one and this can be a manual collection one like these other ones because that's one of the best tricks in the game, right? Is uh, it never ever upgrade anything. You always want to have everything you've ever had running at all times for, for maximum efficiency, guys. For maximum efficiency. Alright, and then we want these to make iron gears, so we set them to do that. And, okay, so this is this is really beginning to take shape, I think. This is, this is already uh, the most efficient basic factory, I, th I think at least I've ever built. This is the first time I've played Factorio since getting two PhDs in six months. So, I mean, it, this is definitely one of the most efficient factories ever made. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to refine our copper production, uh, which is going to be done in much the same way the iron's going to be done. Um, as efficiently as we, oh, wait, wrong button, as we uh, possibly can here. So we're going to get uh, as many, there we go, that should be fine. And we're then just going to line these up um, as 
efficiently as possible. Uh, just like so. We are just gonna get him in like that. And then we're also gonna bring up, um, some electric poles so that we can power this stuff up here. So let's make sure we have, uh, full coverage there. Uh, we wanna make sure absolutely nowhere on the map is lacking in electricity. All right, so now we need to turn, we need to make copper plate, wait, copper plates? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, okay, we need to make copper plates first, and then, and then we make the, the next section, right? I was skipping ahead there. I forgot you have to refine the copper before you use it. All right, so let's just build a bunch of furnaces, like so, and we'll have them lead out of these things in the most efficient, Time, time and space saving manner possible. So remember guys, uh, time is money. We need this to be incredibly efficient as to save resources. There we go. And now all we gotta do is hook this all up, just like so. There we go. And once we get some coal in there, we can start smelting. <sighs> Ah, uh, do you guys smell that? That's efficiency at its finest. Boy, do I love the smell of capitalism in the morning. All right, so then we're going to make these last final automation machines in a totally normal, non-lopsided way. Oh! Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. This- <laughs> The size pack one needs copper plates. I didn't even need the cable- oh. Oh, that- that's fine. You know, that was just- that was just peak efficiency, you know? We'll, we'll need those someday, so we'll just leave that there. Uh, for for later use, I guess. All right, so this is this is really beginning to take shape. Um, this this is looking good. Uh, the main issue I have now is I, because I haven't bothered to research logistics yet. I don't have uh, the underground belts or the longy grabby inserters. I don't. How do I get one of those? Oh, I don't know. But I know I get them at some point. The ones with the. Oh wait, I have them. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, no, we have the long-handed inserters. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, we can just use the long hands to like grab and move over there like like so and then move them down. All right, we're nearly there. We have nearly finished this. <laughs> Incredible factory of pure efficiency. It's truly the eighth wonder of the world. Nothing on the planet even gets close to this level of, of efficiency. All right, so it is, it's complete. Uh, the, the basic factory is finally finished. Uh, let me, let me just take you through a walkthrough. So here is the iron production facility. This is the correct way to do iron production. You have a shit ton of electric miners and then some handmade ones that also mine occasionally when you can be bothered to take the steel out uh, and that feeds into into this which then pumps the steel into either a chest like this one or into these automated machines which gets you the cogs which then go all the way up here uh, into this machine but we'll come back to this because now we need to go <laughs> all the way up here fucking hell it's like a forest uh up to the, the copper um which is exactly the same it comes down here and it feeds into these um there appeared to be too many uh of, of these actually yeah that's a good point hold on a second let me just get some uh let me just get some more inserters i think we need i think we need more inserters right but that's not the point so this feeds partially into these automation things, which make coils that go nowhere. Um, and then the rest go down into this contraption, which either funnels the copper into a box or into these thingies, which make, uh, make these. I appear to have forgotten something. Hold on a minute. Oh, I have these inserters facing the wrong way. Okay. See, there we go. So this is how, <laughs> this is a 90 degree corner. Um, for this assembler thing, because that's making the, the, these, and, and these go into the labs. And that, my friends, is how you make a very basic, incredibly efficient factory. Now, you may be wondering, well, hold on then, where, where do we go from here? Well, the thing is, right, I'm not done with this until the entire fucking map is covered in electric poles. We, we only have a very small percentage uh, to go. There's definitely, a, there's definitely a lot that can be done here. I think what we ought to do, actually, in, in all honesty, is we should really make, um, the Science Pack 2 thing. Now, to make the Science Pack 2 thing, we're gonna need transport belts and inserters, which basically means we're gonna need the iron and the electronic circuits. We're gonna need a lot of iron and the electronic circuits, okay. So I think that's what we're gonna get started on. Uh, we're going to, let me put that back in my inventory. 
We're gonna take all this, uh, I, this steel out of this, and we're gonna delete it, right? And we're instead gonna bring it along, like so, and we're gonna use this to make, uh, make the transport belts. So to do that, we need the iron gear wheels. So actually what we're gonna do, right, is we're gonna have this come around like so. Actually, while we're here, we should probably get some lamps. I mean, <laughs> I have- I do have most of this covered in electricity poles. I think I should make good use of that fact. Alright, and then we're gonna place these here. We're gonna get those like that. And, okay, here we go. So that's actually it. That's all we need to make uh, the transport belts, so that's good. Uh, so that means the only thing now is we need to make the inserters. Actually, wait, we need to place, uh, we need to place our... Just a few poles here and there, make sure everything here is powered up and good to go. And there we go, right, we're making, uh, we're making the transport bits, we're good to go here. Alright, so now we need to make the inserters. So that is gonna take... The same stuff, but then it's also going to take an electronic circuit. And that means we're gonna have to find a way to get this copper down here. Now, any sane person would probably use underground belts or something like that. But, I mean, you've been watching me play this for a while now. Do you really think I'm a sane person? No, we're gonna use a long inserter to bring the copper and we're gonna literally just take it down. Oh! Oh, 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 hold on a minute. Oh, no, I made a huge mistake. Oh, no, stop. Stop the cable. Stop the copper. No, stop it. Th this is what, this is what I needed the copper cables for, was the electronic, see, I knew I needed them for something. That's what it was. I needed them for the, the electronic circuits. So let's just quickly modify the track a little bit, like so... Okay, there we go. So now we have copper cables. That's what we needed. And the only other thing we needed were iron plates. Okay, okay. All right, there we go. So now we have the circuits, uh, which leaves, what does that leave? Uh, iron plates and iron gears. Right, okay. Oh! Oh no! Oh, wait a minute. I need, ah, oh, I need the, the second automation thing. To craft this. Whoops, I've been wasting my time, it would seem. Who could have guessed that this was a waste of time, you know? I really, I really thought I was doing good work here, but apparently I was just wasting my time. I'm also just gonna build, like, a line of electricity poles, like, to the woods so that I know my way back. It's just so I don't get lost, guys. It's a necessary use of resources. This is only going to make us more efficient. I'm gonna level this entire forest and turn it all into electricity poles. We're gonna treat this like the Amazon and we're gonna cut the whole thing down in a straight line. We're gonna go lawnmower pattern back and forth until the entire thing is gone. Ah, there we go, we have electronics and now we just get automation two. All right, there we go. So we have uh, the thing we need. So I'm now just going to pick, uh, yeah, sure, lab, lab speed one, why not? And now we can get the, I don't know, let's build like four of them, uh, automation things we need. And we're just, rather than try something finicky and like bringing around, we're just literally gonna drag the conveyor belt around. Uh, which is, it's fine. You know, that's, that's all good. And then we're gonna bring this up like that. It really hurts me that I have to like delete my, my precious poles to do this, but... Uh, you know, the hardest choices require the strongest wills. Oh! Oh, no, I'm a fucking idiot! Oh, no, this is to make- Oh, I've done this the wrong way. Oh, fuck, what have I done? Okay, okay, hold on. So, what I've done here, right, is- Ignore the fact that I've basically covered the map in fucking poles at this point. But, uh... I, I, uh, th this is- this just makes the invert- the- the- the handy things. I need- Ah, uh, fuck. I need to combine, uh, these- these belts together. Uh, like this belt, specifically. I need to combine. Oh, that's so annoying. I thought I was done. Fuck. I will say, the- the- there is a slight problem with what I've been doing this whole time with the fucking electric poles. Because I am- it is a fucking pain in the ass to build anything now. Because I can't- I have to- look, how is that out of- the entire map is covered in poles, and- Oh, I, I'm so sick of this, guys. I'm so sick of this. Alright, it's almost over. We just have to move this down now, and connect it with this. There, there we go. There! Okay, okay, I think we're finally fucking done. 
<laughs> I think we're done. All right, so let, let's take a quick tour. Right, we're gonna take a- this is the- the final tour, uh, of this facility. Alright, so over here we have the, uh, the iron mines, um, and I know these look mechanical, but I promise you, if you open up these- these things here, there's a slave inside. Um, and that naturally feeds in this very incredibly good way into this, which smelts the iron, and it comes out here, and it gets put on the conveyor belt one way or another, and then- the first place the iron goes is it goes all the way up here, maximum efficiency. Um, and it this is stuck because it's overflowing. That's uh, But remember, I said earlier, overflowing is good. That means it's so productive that you can't stop it. So after that, the iron <laughs> very efficiently makes more cogs, um, which then both create the conveyor belts and then run over here which combine with the electric circuits and then fly up here and then over and then in and that makes the packs and that's fed by well m most of this is really powered by coal right this has been running the entire game this incredibly efficient way you know storing coal in inside of a furnace rather than a chest and having it just sit it works it works fine uh if we come up here we have the copper which i've gone over i can't be bothered with this shit anymore. Um, by the way, there are a few... I, I was planning to expand more than I did, um, and so I have... I have put, <laughs> um, enough electric poles in, uh, to compensate for that, and... Oh, wait, I forgot. Oh, hold on a minute. All right, so if we just place these... There, there we go. Okay, so, uh, I was also making some pictures out of the poles down here because I was... And, and by poles, I of course mean the electric poles. I was not making pictures out of the dead corpses of Polish people. Yeah, but you should... Why would you even assume that? Uh, so the first picture I made, uh, is up here. It's... It's, uh... It's a pair of headphones. As you can see, you have the, the earmuffs... The earmuffs? The earpieces, and then the band. Um, and then down here... We... <laughs> we have, um... Uh, now that I'm looking at it, that doesn't quite look right with it cut off. Apparently, this guy's had his balls chopped off. Uh, we have a deformed banana. Yep, that's the best thing I can come up with. No coming back from that. So, um, and while i am <laughs> oh shit, while I'm gone, the entire factory has gone offline. Do you know how many fucking trees it took to chop it down to make this bullshit? Look at this. <laughs> right, I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope I have enlightened you and helped you along the way in whatever the f <laughs> I'm so tired I can't even I can't even say the outro thank you for watching <sighs> never doing this again I'll see you next time Burn.